Hey y'all, so today is the day. It is currently Tuesday. Alexa, what time is it? It's 11.09 You heard her. So you guys, finally getting started on this. So if you wanna see how this went from this to this, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, let's get right into it. So these are all the items that I used to do my hair. Didn't use the braid belt thing, so don't worry about that. Um, I purchased this hair off of Amazon. I got three packs of the 1B free dress, extra long 28-inch 28 28 inch water pocket twist. I ended up switching it out for the Afro twist 24 inches because my beauty supply didn't sell this brand. So, yeah, you guys, let's get into it. Hey y'all, so I pretty much done my hair, but I wanted to save these two for y'all so y'all could actually see like the technique that I was using to do the braids. I I was going for butterfly locks, but it turned, it's giving passion lock, I don't know. But, so like it was suggested, I used this edge control for my hair. Baby, when I tell you, I'm, I'm the 4C, boo look at this i know once i tie it down it's gonna be marvelous but this is the first one on this side and the edges is still looking nice edges is still looking when i tell you i can't i can't get over it so so far this is how much i've used did i use it on my whole head and did and did because i needed it so the hair that i started out using was the hair that I showed y'all, the free dress, pre-fluffed, popping, what is it called? It's called wa water popping twist. And I had it in 24 inches. Um, I ran out of that hair. I have all three packs off of Amazon. I had ran out of that hair. They had it in 52 inch, but the 52 inch was gonna take too long to come. So I didn't go for the 52 inch. I went for the 24 inch. And I feel like I use more hair doing it with the 24 inch because with when you doing whether you're doing um the butterfly locks or just like the regular locks you pretty much gotta cut the amount in half so like if it's 24 inches expect to get like 12 inches out of it and so you're gonna use more pieces of hair i use about five six pieces of hair i'm just being honest so I had to switch out in the end because when I went to the beauty supply, they didn't have the hair that I wanted and I just was not about to go looking for that hair. So I ended up using, why, why I can't see the name for one of these? My bad, y'all. I ended up going and getting this. I had a little bit of this left over at the house already, so I just ended up getting this. This is the three times Afro twist and this is in 24 inches as well. They had one pack of 1B and then the rest was one. My hair is a 1B. So I ended up just mixing it in. So this is like what a piece of the Afro twist look like. So like it's already pre-fluffed and all of that. But what I would do is I just separate these little ends. I got my little rack that I put all my hair on. So I would just separate these little ends like that. And then I'm going to do this one. Hold up. I do need my, I thought I was going to be able to be fancy and do this. Hold up. Let me, let me get a different setup. Hold up. Okay, y'all. And I'm back. So I'm going to put my mirror up here so I can actually see what I'm doing. So for like, we're going to do this one. Y'all see all of this, my hair had broke off from the hair color that I had in. And like, this is really, this is a lot that it has grown now to be totally honest. I know I need my ends clip. I'm going to do like a whole maintenance thing. Like this part too, I need to do maintenance on it because my crown really broke off bad because when I did my hair color, I did a video on it. The color was cute, but it really damaged my hair. It really damaged my hair. So I'm still like trying to grow the rest of the color out and stuff like that. So I haven't been getting my ends clipped or nothing like that, but I digress. So because all of the other pieces are already parted out, like I would just look at this and I would just gauge it and be like, okay, is this straight enough? 
then it's like if I feel like it's not straight enough, I would just fix up the part, which I feel like that's straight enough. So I've, I've been very generous with this stuff. Very generous. When I say generous, I mean generous. Some people was, I saw videos on this once it was suggested. I had looked at some videos to see, cause you know, it seemed like it's so many different companies that try to make it seem like they cater to 4C hair, but they really don't. And then you get the product and it's, it's not, it's not doing what it needs to do, but this actually does what it needs to do. I've tried the shining jam that just was not, it was not for me. It just, my hair seized up. I like this because it's clear. It works. It actually slicks my edges down. They have all different kinds. I got the extreme firm hold. They had the extreme mega hold. Now, I needed to be firm. I needed to be firm. I, I like to feel, I, I don't want to feel like my hair gonna move. I just don't. And that's because I want the style to, I want the style to last. So then I was taking my little edge control brush. I hope y'all can see this. Let me zoom y'all in some. So then I was going to, I was taking my little edge control. This is what I did for my whole head. Y'all see, I got my whole mirror in the back. That's what I've been using to um get my hair, like to make sure that my parts were straight and stuff. Cause because my hair had got so frizzy, some of my parts wasn't they wasn't straight no more so i've been using this mirror i've been here all day y'all it has taken me no lie so then i go ahead i get my once i feel like it's good i get my little crochet hook oh pull up i don't like how that felt i'm gonna close this take it out okay so I get my little, I get my little crochet hook, open it up. I put it through the middle. I get one piece of hair, one piece of this hair right here. I do it like this. Hope y'all can see this. And I put it in and I pull it through. So once it's pulled through, I don't pull too much through cause I'm gonna add more pieces of hair. But once it's pulled through, this is what I do. I've done this style different times. Not it with this technique, but I've done it different times. This is what I do. Y'all yeah, don't have to do what I do. So I take this smaller part. Hold up, because let me back y'all out some. I want to make sure y'all can see. Because it's a really... Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do all that. Okay. It's a really easy style when you already had the braids up. So... With this, I go under. So like if it's like this, I go under. I grab this hair and this hair like this, like a little ponytail. Do y'all see this? Cause you grabbing this hair so it's not gonna move. And I twist it around like that. If you see the little edge control, trying to like oozing out and stuff because it's like why you squeezing me like that just rub it in because it's clear and then i just wrap it around like that i wrap it around a couple times because i don't be liking i mean to each his own but i don't like when i see them and they have it like wrapped tight damn near to the middle of the braid and then the the style starts so I do that, I feel it, make sure it's secure. Get, I get my other little piece of hair ready. And then with this, what I, my main thing is to make sure that my hair color is being covered. So I do like this. I just wrap it around a couple more times. And then I take this second piece of hair. Now I used two pieces of hair right here because my braids were my knotless braids was thick so when i use one piece i was still able to see the whole braid the whole like original braid but i think because i'm not doing this loosely 
that's part of the reason why um what am I trying to say that's part of the reason why I feel like it wasn't really given like the butterfly lock look it's given more like a the passion braid type look where it's like a crinkly braid type pattern it looked like a more like a lock but not like a it's not giving me butterfly lock it could be the hair I don't know, but when I looked at people do this style, this was the hair that they had. Now, I know a lot of people would add hair at this point, but that ain't what I do. Let me let me see if I can back y'all out some so then y'all could see. So, I'm just stretching the hair out at the bottom. Then when I get here, because I know it be looking a little thick at the top, I kind of just like pull it down. And so, like right here. I saw like a little piece of my hair peeking through and so I did that. I just pull it down and I'm gonna grab another piece of hair and I just do that all the way down. I'm doing the thumb method. But as y'all could see like it's kind of staying, it's kind of not. I do uh, one above, one below, and then I let it go. But like how you can see the braid still, I don't want to see none of the braid. I don't want to see none of it. I ain't want to speed this part up because just in case somebody actually, you know, sees this and they're like, okay, well, you know, it's not a butterfly lock, but I like what she was going with it. I want you to actually like see what I'm doing. And so then like I would just do this because what I was learning was it was bulking up some because I was doing it tight at the top all the way down. So it's not really giving that butterfly lock effect, but I like it. I like it. It's giving more like a, a lock. And I like that. This is definitely a style that I would do again. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I started this. I started at like 11 this afternoon so that's one two three pieces of hair so far the braid is all the way here and i'm bringing it down pretty much to the bottom um it's about the it's it's gonna be it's the same length that my braids were at first and my braids were at my butt so i just keep doing it it's it's 11 alexa what time is it it's 11 27 p.m it's 11 30 y'all all day long so i started at 11 and it's like 11 30 and i have these two braids so i've been braiding my hair i've been doing my hair all day i have used about six packs of hair now it could be i know people are like oh my god now i used about that much to do my feed in braids so it could be my technique I personally think the reason why I have to use so much hair is because the length of the hair that I got. So I would suggest if you have long knotless braids to get a longer length. I got 24 inches and when you're trying to do butterfly locks just always remember is you're going to basically cut that amount in half. It's going to get cut in half. So if you got... 24 inches it's gonna be 12 and then you know you're gonna have to use extra pieces of hair so i'm still going i got this much to go and so yeah so this is literally this is what i've done for my whole entire head and i'm very happy with it i'm gonna show y'all the length in a second so i'm gonna use another piece we'll be we at four we have four pieces now. I'm down here. And then what you could do, like, if you feel like it's too, you can just, like, kind of pull it down some. And the hair will move a little bit down the braid. So, yeah. So, I'm like, maybe my technique is off. Maybe it's the hair that's not giving me the lock look, the, the butterfly locks that I was going for. But... It's some I don't know what this is. If y'all know, like, what y'all would call it. 
Then I'm gonna show y'all what I do. It's like, cause I feel like this is a little thick. I'm gonna show y'all what I do when I feel like it's a little too thick. I love the look of it, like starting out with the style sooner than having it like wrapped down, farther down the head. I understand why they do that, but I just personally, I don't like it. So we're getting towards the end now. And when we get all the way down, I normally kind of like gauge it with the rest of the hair and then I like fold it over. I'm gonna show y'all how I do that as well. It be pissing me off though when I get towards the end and then I run out and I have to use another whole piece of hair because the way this hair is acting like I don't have like no pieces that I could kind of like finesse into one. Like you could put like the little pieces that you ripped up and put it back on it. Mm -mm, nah, this ain't, this ain't that. So, out of all the packs, I bought six packs of hair. I have, I use all of them. And then I also had a pack that was sitting around that had just two in here like this, and I used that. And But this is what's left. So, right now on my rack, it's three, four pieces. I might still need to use a couple pieces, um, like one, one or two pieces from out of there to... Uh, to finish the style i'm very glad i did it today so we almost way at the end y'all let me see if i can angle y'all down some can y'all see hold up when i tell y'all this room looks so crazy because i just been look this all the hair over here all the bags of hair plus a bunch of other stuff that i should have been got rid of that I ain't got rid of yet. So then I just go. I ain't no particular. I'm not doing it in no particular order. No certain type of way. No real technique or nothing. So let me angle y'all back up. So when I get to the end. Because I, it's too long. I just do like this. Cause this end got like a little knot in it. I had pulled it apart on accident because I really didn't want to use another piece of hair. So I'm not a professional. I learned this stuff off of YouTube, and y'all can as well. So, so when I get to the part where I'ma fold it, I just fold it like this. I just fold it over like this. And then I just keep, I just keep wrapping down. Normally when I get to this part, I wrap real tight. And I just go all the way, all the way to the base. And it'll look like, it look like that. So then like this is the little extra piece that's hanging out. And I just wrap this around. And then I do it like that. And it's not going to come down. It's nice and secure. The base is tight. I could feel it tight. It's not too tight because I didn't want it to be too tight. But I could feel it. I know that it's not um, It's not going to go nowhere. It's not going to do nothing. So, like, if I feel like, oh, well, my base is not as tight as I would want it to be. So, because I'm like, I'm looking at it now. I'm trying to get y'all all my little techniques. So like for this one, if I feel like the base is just not tight enough, I'll just take a little piece of hair. Let's do it like this. And then I just do that beginning technique again. So I hold it here and then I just get to wrapping around here until I feel secure with it. And then once I feel like, okay, this is secure, this ain't going nowhere, then I just go ahead and wrap down. Let 
and I wrap it around. And sometimes I like pull just a little. You don't need much. It's like a little couple strings and it'd be like that. So then I'm like, okay, now I really feel like that's nice and secure. So y'all, it get a little, it might get a little tizzite. Then you want to just kind of like pull it out a little bit to kind of get rid of that tightness. Okay. Okay. Now, that's the last one. This one, I am going to speed up. shorten them because I know some of them I feel are longer than the others. Hopefully y'all can see all of that. Yeah. So this is about the length that it was before when it was just a straight up knotless. So this is the hair. You can wear it this way. It's not sore. Edges is laid. Looking cute. I really love it y'all. So I'm probably wear it down for a little bit and then because I do feel the tightness. It got a little weight to it, I ain't gonna lie, but it could just be the amount of hair that I use. But it's not heavy, but I feel it. Yeah, I feel it. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, a couple things. I used six packs. I went from the free tress 24 inch popping twist to the Lulu tress 24 inch. Uh, what was it called? Afro twist. I had to look at the package. So I used the Lulu Trans 24 inch Afro twist. And that's what I finished off the style with. With me, I was going for butterfly locks, but it didn't really, it didn't. This is not, it's not giving butterfly locks, y'all. I hope y'all could see that. Hold up. Let me see if I could bring y'all into the light a little bit more. So yeah, so. This is it. It's not. It's not giving. It's not giving butterfly locks. It's giving to me. It's giving like hold up. Cause you know I got my new thing. I can do that. It's giving just like regular locks, and I'm I'm cool with that. I love it. I love the look of it. I got like some little shells and stuff that I might put in my hair. I really love it, you guys. It's like a whole new. This, it's like I just did my whole hair over again. I pretty much did. And now all of my edges tight. Love it. I'm going to tie this down so that it could go ahead and, I guess, dry and be cool. Again, I use the Eben edge control. Let me, hold up, let me move y'all again. Because y'all are in the way. That's, that's why you got to move. I'm just saying. Uh, hold up. I need to sweep this floor, y'all. It's too much of everything everywhere. Oh, hold up. Let me get y'all back into the light. So this is how much I used. Hold up. Let me get a good. This is how much I used. This is the big 
Eban 24 hour edge timer. What size is this? Is the family size? Does it say how many ounces it is on here? I know it says it on the top, but I'm not. I put a, a picture of the top up because I'm about to go get that top again. I don't know if this would be equal to like half, a little less than half. And I was able to. Don't do that. Okay. And I was able to do my whole hair with it. And I used it generously. I was not sparing with it. I saw one video. They like, a little goes a long way. Mm -mm. I wasn't willing to risk it. I wasn't. It took me. I started at 11. I ended at like 11.30. I took like four breaks. It took me about a good like eight hours. I used about six and a half packs. But again, I... I Get, if your hair is longer, get a longer length. Don't get the 24 inch. Try to get like a 52 inch or something like that. Because then at least you know you're going to get like half of that when you get to wrapping it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And definitely try out the style. This is a really good, um, I guess you would call it like a lazy girl method. When you like not ready to take your knotless out of your knotless braids. Now did you, uh, now did you dirty too soon like mine did. I was on day three looking like I was on day 33. So now I know I could get, I could probably get like another month out of this and I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that.